Hey everybody, Josh the Retro Gamer here. So I'm not one to really do much as far as unboxing videos. Um, I do them every once in a while, but it's very unusual for me to, to do them. Uh, but this was something that I really wanted to uh, showcase a little bit. Just from what I've seen so far, I feel like they did a really good job with it. And I was like, you know what, I should do a video on this. Uh, so I haven't opened this fully yet or looked at it. But this is in regards to the uh, recent release from Castlemania Games for the Holy Diver uh, for NES. Uh, so those of you that may not know, Holy Diver was scheduled originally to come out on the NES, and then it didn't, and it only came out on the Famicom. It's a great game. It's kind of got a heavy metal theme to it. Um, heavy metal characters is kind of a platformer with some really good music and a lot of crazy stuff for the NES. Um, generally regarded as a really good game, kind of a hidden gem. Uh, so if you haven't seen anything on it or looked it up, I encourage you to do that. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and take a look at this collection that they put together. So I was one of the first 1,000 to sign up for the collector's edition. And uh, so I'm really excited about that. That means I got this nice um, card stock um, certificate of authenticity. Uh, so mine is number 479 of 1,000, uh, which is pretty cool. They gave me a bunch of stickers as well for Castlemania. Uh, but now I want to get into the box itself here. Um, pretty heavy, chunky thing. <laughs> um, let me move this out of the way here and make sure this is all still in focus here. But yeah, so here we go. Um, so I'm going to, oh, it's sealed up, so I'm going to have to open it up here as well. So let me grab my, grab my knife real quick. All right, so here we go. Got it out of the box. Got my knife here. It's sealed up, so I'm going to be super careful because I don't want to cut my finger or the box. <laughs> um, just want to get it started so I can get this plastic wrap off. Um, kind of a neat little sticker they have on here, too, of kind of the contents. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and remove all this, I think, as well. Um, so there was a few extra bonuses for the first thousand. Um, I don't honestly remember what they all were. Um, but again, this is just, I mean, fantastically well done. I mean, this is like what I expect to get now um, in a lot of ways from places that are doing these, you know, repros or collector's editions or re-releases. Um, there we go. So, oh, okay, so this is the collector's edition. So let's see what this was. So this is Holy Diver Collector's Edition, 479 of 1,000, limited production run, so at first 100. So I guess they got that. And then also, this says collector's edition, 2450 of 2900, I guess for the game itself maybe? So maybe there's a both and there? Not really sure. All right, so here's the game box and everything, pretty, Good shape, looks nice. I'm gonna have to open that up in a second. And then here's, I think it was basically like my game number, click this and this go together, I think is what it is. And then this box here contains the rest of the contents for the thousand people, the first, you know, first thousand that signed up. So I got these Holy Diver cards here, which is really awesome. Got some 8-bit stickers, really cool looking. And this nice little envelope here, really nicely well done, like a, it's a glossy like envelope. Um, really impressed with that. And let's see what else we got here. Then we got like, it looks like a book, or a notebook maybe? Oh yeah, it's a notebook. Holy Diver Notebook. Wow, really cool. Our own software. That's awesome. I can store my passwords or cheat codes in there, just like the old days. Okay, some black cloth here. Okay, the figure pen. So there's the pen of Randy. <laughs> um, pretty sweet. It's like a little stand mobile, like little stand-up pen. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then also, let's see what this is. Looks like, a, oh, another pen, like a card, a Holy Diver like thumb pen, like that you can put on a shirt pen or type thing, or book bag or whatever. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so I think this stuff, this stuff here was, was a bonus for people that had 
signed up for the collector's edition. And then I was thinking also there was something different about the game for the first few of the games too. I don't know if mine would count as that because it's like within that production run. So this numbering might be for the set and then this is for the game. Um, so let's take a look at the, the game here in the cartridge. Again, try to be careful with opening this up. It even looks kind of like old school shrink wrap. <laughs> And it feels more plastic, not like, not like plastic sheeny, but more like thick plastic, like good plastic. It's hard to explain. All right, let's see. What did that have on it? Uh, cartridge not working on your PAL NES. Press reset twice while the power is on. Okay, I guess if people are having trouble with the PAL region. So let's open up the box here. All right. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, so this one. Uh, yeah, this is the white cartridge. Um, yeah, so I think the tip, the standard was black. The black cartridge um, was the standard release. But if you got it with the collector's edition, limited edition set, you got the, uh, the limited edition white cartridge, uh, which is, I don't know, I think that's pretty awesome. Man, that looks really cool. I like how they have their sticker there on the back. And yeah, even on the top. Man, that's awesome. I'm super excited. Of course, they've got the instruction manual. Oh, I mean, and this is like, oh, I, I hope you heard that creak. This is like an old school instruction manual. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm really, let's talk about that. They've got Japanese and English in there and explain what the, what the power-ups and stuff are and what they do. That's amazing. Wow. So there you go. Holy diver for the, uh, the NES. I'm, uh, I'm super excited about this. I'm going to have to uh, have to give it a shot and try. It's a game I've been wanting to play for a long time. I've been watching the Famicom cartridge for a while, uh, but it still goes pretty expensive, and I really wish it would have gotten released in the U.S., um, but now I have a version that I can play in my NES and pop in and go. So there you go. So check it out. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, I highly recommend picking up the game in general. It's a, it's a fun game from everything that I've seen. I haven't really played it myself yet, so I'm really excited to check it out and see if my opinion changes when I play it, but so far, I'm, uh, I'm impressed.